solve the equation cos 4x cos x plus sine 4x sine x equals 1. So first of all, we notice it's a solve question. It's not a proof question. So we have to use all of our algebra skills to be able to solve it. First of all, we notice that we have sine and cosine in the question, which usually causes us some problems. The reason that we want our formulas from our formula sheet mostly memorized is so that when you get a question like this, you would say, hey, cos cos plus sine sine, that reminds me we have formulas that look like that. Let me check if there's anything on my formula sheet that matches this perfectly. So I'm going to think if this is alpha and this is beta and this is alpha and this is beta, is there a cos alpha cos beta plus sine alpha sine beta formula? Is that the right hand side of one of these? And they're like, yes, it is. It's cos alpha minus beta. So that would allow me to take the left hand side here and change it, cos alpha minus beta still equals 1 on the right hand side. And those are like terms, so I can simplify this to cos 3x equals 1. So I started off the question without knowing what I would do. I looked for patterns. I noticed one of my formulas. I changed it. But sometimes you change something, you don't know if it's going to help you. But you change it and then simplify and we get this. The next question you have to ask yourself is, do I recognize this as a question I've solved in the past? And we actually gave this one a name. Do you remember what we called these questions? I'll slowly give you hints until someone figures it out. It's a multi-revolution question. Now the reason we give things names is so that when we think of the name, it's also supposed to trigger in us, oh yeah, and I remember how to solve multi-revolution questions by doing this, this, and this. Now for some of you, it might have triggered the following. Oh yeah, I have no idea and don't remember whatsoever how to solve multi-revolution questions, which then hopefully triggers you like, I should probably study that. Now, the steps that we did for a multi-revolution question. Step one is we rewrote the domain for 3x. So for example, the domain right now is x is between 0 and 2 pi. So the domain for 3x's, if we multiply everything by 3, is between 0 and 6 pi. And 0 and 6 pi is 3 times around your unit circle, which is why we called it a multi-revolution question. Next, step 2, is we solve for 3x. This question says cos 3x equals 1. Is cos ever equal to 1 on your unit circle? Yes, it's your x-coordinate right here at 0. And all the way around at 2 pi, that's once around. Twice around would also include 4 pi. And 3 times around would also include 6 pi. However, right, if you notice here, there's no equal sign with the 6 pi. So we actually have to x out the 6 pi on the third time around. Then the last step for a multi-revolution question, the original question said solve for x. We've solved for 3x. We can solve for x by taking each of these answers and dividing it by 3. And now all of those answers are between 0 and 2 pi. And this question is one. So ones you can do for practice on this one are 15 and 17. 
And I actually want you to get really good at the pi over 12 questions. So I'm going to say do question 7 first. We're going to take the rest of